Campbell and I am doing my flagpole portion of my similarity modeling project. Um, to, fi to figure out the height, I need a ruler or a pen, an object, so I can see the similarity between the ruler and the, and the flagpole. And then I also need, well, you don't have to, but I am using a 100 foot tape measure. Um, it is in standard. It is in standard um, form, so feet and inches instead of centimeters. So I will convert it later. And then, so the first step is I take my ruler, fully extended with two arms, so I'm not twisting my body like this. And I keep backing up or going forward, however far I need, until the ruler is exactly the height of the flagpole. And. Uh, yet. I have to go forward a little bit here. And then that is it right there. And for it, then I want to measure from the ruler to my to my eyes. So I, I would I would take that from down there from the ruler to my eyes. And, and then I have the measurement of this, and then to find the distance for the pole, I go straight down. So that it's exactly on, and that is the line right there. And then, so that's the distance from the pole. This is, and then so so then I have the distance. The the um, measurement of this is. Um, just over 12 inches, so 12 and a half -ish inches. But as you can see, it's just over that. And then, so then this measurement here is two and two feet and two inches, and that. And so I do two foot two inches divided by this to get a scale factor of around 0.04, and then I, I take the distance from the pole that this is from, which I measured just before there, I take that measurement times the scale factor as an opposite or reciprocal so that I, I can I can successfully uh, find the height of the flagpole and so that's how you find it.